What up folks, welcome back to Ultra Zill Toys, and today I have a review of the Star Wars Black Series, Clone Commander Wolf. Alright my zillions, after a day off from uh, the studio with both, you know, due to both work and personal reasons, back here uh, tonight, although you've seen this in the morning, for a quickie, um, you know, I just felt like I needed to do something before bed so I have something in the morning, you know. Couldn't come in the studio at all today. But here is uh, Clone Commander Wolf, uh, who I got from the Disney store, although he's been available elsewhere. I just picked him up because there was a sale and I picked up a bunch of other Star Wars figures and, you know, he he was a figure that made it free shipping. So there you go. Um, otherwise, I don't know if I was going to get this guy. You know, like, I just, I really didn't know um he's okay he's kind of a lazyish figure like it's like you know mostly in white you know clone trooper gear and then you got some of this like you know dirt on there which is eh, it's like a light brown it doesn't really look gang it looks more like poop <laughs> i don't know uh the helmet looks a little bit better but this is just because the rest of it is so white, like, where did this come from? Was he holding a baby? What happened? Um, so, I don't know. And then you got, like, you know, these uh, lines here just drawn on in gray on the boots, too. And they're not great. You know, it's not perfectly done. Back here, you got both mess up and a little bit of that brownish paint. So, it kind of all blends together. That's pretty bad. Um, the back... You see some white on there. I guess that's supposed to be on there. I don't know. On the gray, maybe not. Um, you know, he's got his wolf there. That looks very nice. And that symbol there, whatever that is, I'm not sure at this point. <laughs> that looks pretty cool, too. Um, so, tempos uh, look good there. You know, the rest of his golem looks all right. The helmet is very nice. I do dig that. You know, like I, I pointed out that, and that was the best part. And this part looks really cool there. And I just like how this gray is integrated with the white on the helmet, at least. At least it's clean here um, and pretty well done. You do have this bit here. Oop, where are you? This bit here that doesn't look so hot. Eh, it is what it is. Like, that looks cool. That's well done. It works. A little scope thing. So that's pretty good, nice and silver. The eyes painted black are good. I don't know, it, it's, the helmet for the most part is, you know, so far the highlight. Let's take off the helmet then. Check out Commander Wolf here. Um, you do see some eye shine and lip shine, so there is some digital printing. And this is, I think this is an old sculpt though that they just printed over. Um, and that's fine, you know, for this type of figure, I think that's fine. It works well, and it looks like it's supposed to look like, so, a clone, um, of Django. A little missing black paint there, but otherwise, I feel like the face looks pretty decent. The scarring looks really good, the white eye, so that's pretty good. He's got his two little small blasters, um... They could have given him two trigger fingers, though, and they didn't, and that's kind of annoying. See that? Like, I'll probably cut that myself because I want him to have a trigger finger, but, you know, um, that should have been done. You know, like, he's known for two-gun action here, and, uh, yeah, I, I would have liked that. Oh, did I, did I men not mention the hip skirt here is actual cloth? That's pretty good. That's not so bad. I like the texture here on it. That's pretty good. It's got a nice trim on it. So nice, you know, that gray again. So very well done there. I dig that. So there you go. I'm just going straight through this. I'm not going to, like, do any cutting here. Just just doing it. Hinge and a ball joint at the head. You got the middle joint, like all Star Wars Black Series, and it works pretty good on this guy. Hinder it at the shoulder for his shoulder because of his armor there. So you do have a hinge and swivel there, but it's very, very hindered. So I don't see any way to, to raise it up. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. You got the upwards hinge swivel at the wrist. Goes out that far, kicks out that, that. And then you got the thigh swivel, double jointed knee. 
and then hinge rocker at the foot. So there you go, standard black series stuff there. You do have this part up here, this little communicating thing there. I missed that. Soft plastic, so be careful with that. Um, but yeah, the head looks all right, and the helmet looks all right. So um, you know, they both look cool, and it's not it's not so bad. It's not a bad figure at all. I'm just gonna put him here, and I'm just gonna do some quick size comparisons. I'm not gonna go crazy. Like I said, here's a uh, General Veers, and uh, who, who we have here? We have Twin Tail. Missing a tail there, so I just want to just get through this quick and easy. Maybe it's quicker the other way, but I just don't feel like cutting right now. Sideswipe, Optimus, Optimus is coming soon, I think. Yeah, pretty pretty soon. Um, and now what do we got here? We got and Spidey and Spidey. I couldn't get through without making a cut. Oh well, I tried. <laughs> and that's it, guys. And that's my review of uh, Clone Commander Wolf here. Quick and easy. It's it's an okay figure. It's it's not amazing, and I just I don't think this is a figure that's really gonna. Actually, I'm not. I don't think I'm even gonna cut this guy. I don't think this guy's gonna stay in my collection. <laughs> I'm probably gonna try to move him along, uh, but it was worth taking a look at, and it provided me with a good, nice, easy figure to get back into the swing of things. All right. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.